Why are these introductions so hard? Mm. I've done this introduction about 10 times. So, hi guys, welcome to my very first YouTube video. <laughs> I've wanted to do this for a while now and I thought what better video to start off with than the renovation of my very own nail salon and training academy. So yeah, let's do a little introduction for anyone who doesn't know who I am. So my name is Sarah Woods. I am on Instagram as by Sarah and the salon is on Instagram. The salon page is Woo Nails UK. So a little bit about Woo is that it's an exclusive nail salon and training academy in Liverpool. We've got gel polish manicures, gel polish pedicures, luxury manicures, which is something that are new to my treatment service um, list that I've been holding off for to do in Woo and something that everyone is so, so excited to come and get done whilst they're in Woo, which is the luxury pedicures. We are going to be exclusive um, to offering the luxury pedicures in our very special pedicure, pedicure bar area. I also specialise in a treatment called toenail reconstruction, which I feel ties in perfectly with the luxury pedicures that we're going to be offering. So for anyone who suffers with missed or damaged toenails like myself, don't be embarrassed. I will be more embarrassed getting a bikini wax than a toenail reconstruction. And then aside from the treatments is our education. So we are going to be offering every single nail course under the sun. Um, gel polish beginners, which is for anyone who is looking to start a nail career. Um, this is the perfect place for you to start. Then we've got our advanced courses, which are for already qualified nail technicians. Um, I'm not going to go into the courses too much because this is something that will be coming on the Instagram and the website. So just make sure that you are following, following Woo Nails UK for any updates. So this is just a video of um, the current renovation because it is still underway. And then I will do another video of the finished result, which I am so excited to do. Um, so yeah, let's take you inside. I'm going to do a put a video up. I'm not very really good at this YouTube editing yet as this is my very first one. But hopefully I can put a video in now of what the salon was like beforehand. And then you can see how much work we've done so far um, for the renovation. So let's take you inside the salon and show you what it was like beforehand. Whoa. Whoa. So here is our entrance, we've only started on the panel and because really we need to leave this still last because we've got so much furniture that still needs to come in and we don't want to get the walls marked, the paintings marked, so we've just got the panel in, in for now, no floor. And so up we go, at the top of the stairs here we're going to have a sign um, which is in production at the minute, getting made, I did originally already have Oh, I'm out of breath. Um, a neon sign at the top, and these ordered me the wrong size, and it just, it just went good. I'll show you the sign in a minute because we're moving it inside the salon. But yeah, we need something big. Um, oh my god, can't believe how much I'm out of breath. We need something big. Um, I just want people to walk up the stairs, and you always want like a picture point, don't you, for Instagram stories and stuff like that. So I'm hoping this is going to be the picture point where everyone takes the picture. Once you come up the stairs. Okay, let's continue. Right, here's our main salon room. Now, <laughs> this is a problem that's been holding us back, but we won't talk about that for now. Um, we are actually three quarters of the way through. It might not look like that to everyone else. I mean, the before video shows how much we've done. It already looks like a completely different room. But it has just been so much like foundation work to do. But yeah, anyway, for us we are we are three quarters of the way there. So we've got um oh god, my hand looks huge. Um the nail gel polish display wall. So we've got the white panels, the gold features um at the bottom. This actually lights up. So this is how it looks lit up. This isn't actually funny, fully finished yet either. We're having a panel, um, these panels that are going down on each one of the shelves just to hide the little dots of the lights, but you get the effect. This is what this display will look like. Um, 
here we're going to have the reception desk. We've got two light up gold mirrors going either side here. And then here will be the nail bar, which is here waiting to get built. We've gone for sort of like a whole marble theme, to be honest. I feel like, I'll show you that now, it's so exciting. Um, it's all sort of fell into like a Greek theme and that one wasn't really what I was going for. But yeah, I like it. So um, we've got the marble nail desk going here, which is going to also be fitted with the white panels and the gold at the bottom. This is the exciting thing that's actually finished. The pedi bar, how exciting is this? So literally my blood, sweat and tears went into designing this because at the minute I do toes sitting on the floor because I'm quite tall. Um, so I, I really needed this designed for a tall person in mind. So the clients were sitting really high. So once we're on our stools, the client's foot is elevated. So we are going to have little footrests here. For the clients to put the feet on so the higher and no one's arching the back um and our posture staying good because nail techs um we suffer with our back so much we're going to be like cripples old ladies but yeah so this is the pedicure bar how insane is that we've got the marble sinks um we've got a little plug socket here for our gel lamps you've got the gold detail taps let's just put it on and have a little Look, oh, so exciting. And um, we've got the gold detail shells, which will have all little towels here for the girls. Gold details in the sink. And then our fitted seat for the girls. Girls, please do not wear jeans when you come for your pedicures. Because <laughs> jeans just stain stuff like this so much. And then we've got the wheel on the window. Love that. Um, finishing switches that we need to this area. We're going to have two little hanging lights here as well this section here is going to be our waiting area which is getting finished next week which is going to match the seats on this and the bottom of it is going to be panels and gold so it all ties in together but yeah this is soon to be the exclusive nail bar area so watch this space to see the finished results so this room through here which currently got a makeshift door it's soon going to have doors dividers it is going to be our training room so we can go through this way and um, the good thing about this is through our hallway you come straight up and there's two entrances so we've got smaller doors oh there's my dad doing a bit of diy <laughs> um two separate entrances so for the smaller rooms that i'll talk about in a second they've got their own entrance to go through I think he must want to be in the video because he knows I'm videoing in here. What are you doing? Um, so, this is our training room. This room just makes me so, so happy because this is the main reason why I wanted to open this. I could stay in my back garden for the rest of my life to my nails, but to create a training academy, I just didn't have the space that I wanted. But yeah, our training room. So. It's quite an intimate training room. I didn't want to do huge classes because I've done nail art courses in the past where I've had 12 girls. And as much as I love having that many girls learning together, it's hard to dedicate time um, to individual students and for them to get the most out of it sometimes. So this is just an intimate. I think we're looking at around six students per class, but this is going to be... The training room, I call it the lab. So this is where we're going to invent some of the most amazing nail artists in this room. So we've gone, this was originally all painted white and then it was kind of too white. So that's just happened so much in um, in the salon is that things, things get done and it's hard to see how things are going to look until they're done. And then I'm like, mm, I'm not sure about that. I need something else. How amazing does that look? With the light coming through, just imagine the nail pictures we're going to get in there. Um, so this is where we're up to at the minute in the training room so today this got painted earlier today which is from glam ren it's like the textured duo effect paint that looks similar to um the venetian plaster and then we've got gonna have all the students desks here and then we've got the mirror which um as you can see it's a bit disorientated and that's one of the problems that we've had and um, we got this fitted and the walls aren't straight behind so it looks like you're looking in a fun house 
so this is some of the setbacks that we have that things just get, get put up thinking we're taking things off our list and they're not um how we wanted them to be so that's going to get changed underneath this we have got the um some of the cupboards for storage and then our fridge which is going to have drinks and refreshments for our students we're also going to have a little coffee table up here which i'm so excited oh god trip myself up i'm so excited about i'll talk more about that when we've got it but that was definitely the lord of attraction the coffee machine that's yet to come um that's another thing that's going to be exclusive to our salon only but i'll talk about that um once we've got it this was the sign that was going to go at the top of the stairs but it just weren't meant to be there so we've got another one coming but it's a gold mirrored neon sign this is probably going to go behind the reception desk out there but and i actually snapped it they were together but things some things happen for the reason because it looks better snapped like that the only thing is it was meant to all be in one line like that and i think you can all probably agree that it looks better like that but there's the connector and there's that connector so that's another thing that my dad's trying to think how we're going to get that to work and um, but yeah so nail salon training academy so yeah the Woo is an exclusive nail salon and training academy, but we have got two rooms that I didn't want to go to waste, so I will show you them two rooms also now. This is our hallway to the other rooms. I'm going to put a picture somewhere here. I don't know how to do this on YouTube, but I've seen people do it, and you can put a picture somewhere on the screen that shows you what this was like before. Um, so, yeah, I'm so pleased with this. This also was originally all painted white. I just wanted everywhere because it was all red and black. I wanted everybody just painting white and fresh and it all got painted white and then it was a bit too white and needed a bit of colour so we've gone um probably the most expensive paint i could think of picking but i didn't know how expensive it was until i chose that colour which was the faro and ball i did get some dual samples after i realized the price but none of them compared and to be honest i'm really happy with it because sometimes you do pay for what you get and i've already marked it in the bathroom and it wiped off like a dream didn't affect it so this is slipper satin from faro and ball um our floor tiles were done by north liverpool flooring which is um, my boyfriend's company and we've got pictures that should have come today it's always like delayed with deliveries and stuff that just set you back but then pictures actually should be near yesterday that are going there um okay so we've got this small little room that was going to be the staff room but it's actually going to be a facial room now for one of my friends which is just being plastered that needs painting and it will also be getting tiled so yeah not much to show you in this room then we're going to go through to the toilet area i'm actually obsessed with that I don't know whether toilet humour is anyone's um, thing, but I am obsessed with that. I think it's really, really cool. Okay, so maybe if I can put another before picture here of what this toilet was like, this room, it's so hard to get it in the camera um, to fit it all in, but this room looks completely different to what I started off with. This sink unit was actually in the back room, which I'll show you now. Um, and a little light bulb popped in my head and we moved it into here. But yeah, this is the finished bathroom. I had to get a new toilet and everything because I just couldn't have kept what was originally here. But there's our toilet. Um, and then the room that is complete. Let's go. This is my favorite room so far because it's finished. And this is what I meant by the Greek vibes. It absolutely smells divine in here, which is due to the ritual suffuser over there. But this is going to be our clinic room. I'm going to take that off the chair just so I can show you the cushion. Let's try and give you a wide view of what is going to be the clinic room. Pictures, pictures are from, um, picture frames are from Ikea. Pictures are from Postery. We got a new radiator, new chair, cushion. The cushion is from the Cushion Quarter on Instagram. And um, then pictures to go, to go in the training room. 
our tiled floor, our fitted unit, more gold details. And then we've got our visual suffuser and our little David head. Our mirror is from William Wood Mirrors. I'm obsessed with their mirrors and putting a mirror there just opened this room up so much. I'm trying to think of how best to show you the before of this room because this just looks completely transformed. But I'm not really um, used to YouTube and editing yet, so I'll try and think of either just putting a picture here so you can see the before or putting a video up. Um, but yet this room is completely transformed. As I say, the unit was there and the original plan, the sink unit was there and the original plan was to keep it in because they always knew that this was going to be a clinic room. Um, and so we got the whole room plaster painted and this unit fitted in. And because that unit was fitted there and we had a sink unit there, it just, it looked a bit odd. So me again, coming in, ripped it out, um, put it in the bathroom and then had to get this sink fitted on top. But I feel like that's why it just took so long because doing renovations and a salon is, is all new to me and I've learned so much. But for <laughs> advice for anyone, try and plan ahead before you start getting things done. But I am a one man band and I'd do it all again, but it should probably took about four or five months longer than it should have. But yeah, we move. So yeah, this is the current condition situation um, of soon to be Wu Salon and Academy. So the next video, hopefully in, I'm not, I don't want to put a deadline on it because it's so hard for us to stick the times at the minute, but I'm hoping for it to be done in about four to six weeks. So I will do another video then. But for anyone not following us on Instagram, I am by Sarah and our page is called Wu Nails UK. Thank you.